Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I am bringing it back with the nice branded Chimera content. And honestly, I do love this deck a lot. So honestly, might as well bring you guys the content, right? So, um, as you see with the title of the video, we're actually going to be putting in some Shadal cards in here. And honestly, when you can put some Shadal cards in here, it's actually pretty insane, right? So, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Yep. All right, guys, for this first combo, um, we're going to be using the Mirror Swords Knight, which is like your main one card starter, as most Branded Chimera players know. And then the second card is just going to be hard opening the beast, because honestly, when it comes to hard opening the Shadow cards in this variant of the deck is honestly not that bad, because like, as mentioned before, this deck is just filled with one card combos, which is both the Mirror Swords Knight and the Branded Fusion. So honestly, it's just better like that because your opponent will not be expecting that you have the Shadal pieces in your hand. As to like the Brand Diffusion route, you're gonna be um, making sh like your opponent is gonna know that you have it for sure. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. Obviously, your simple combo um, normal summon the Mirror Swords Knight effect to get your Burferment, Burferment effect to get both your Gazelle and your uh, Chimera Fusion, Chimera Fusion. We'll fuse both the Gazelle and the Burferment to go into your copy of the Chimera. Now your Chain Links will resolve. You're going to do Chain Link 1, um, the Gazelle, to search for uh, Illusion Monster. You're going to do Chain Link 2, um, Big Wing Burferment, to target the Mirror Swords Knight. And then Chain Link 3 is going to be your Chimera to rip a card out of your, hand, um, out of your opponent's hand during the end phase. Please... Honestly, when it comes to the chain link, just make sure that this is at least chain link three because you're definitely chain blocking um like an ash blossom and a ghost spell in this instance. The imperm, honestly, it's a bit of a problem maybe because like, may what if you just only open up the one copy of the Chimera Fusion and now that this card is not mentioned, is not um Chimera to fly mythical beast anymore, just can't add it back. So let's see what the other three cards in your hand is right. So. Um, we're gonna resolve the chain link now. So this will the rip will be successful during the end phase You're gonna add them. Um, you're gonna summon them sword knight and then you're gonna add the cornfield codal Um, you're just gonna do whatever the hell right? Um, so you're gonna activate the cornfield codal to add your follow-up over here And then you're gonna add back the chimera fusion Um with its effect because you control chimera to fly mythical beast and this is gonna be your same end board as you usually would with the um normal like one card combo for this so now during your opponent's turn draw phase you're gonna activate your mirror swords knight to go for your second copy of burferment and then burferment once again will get you both your gazelle and your chimera fusion now this is where you are gonna um like be careful with activating your um chimera fusion to go for your window because at this point, you rather wait for your opponent to play something first, such as like a branded fusion, a, br a sprite starter, literally anything that would just summon them a monster would just instantly like almost end their turn. Or um, if your opponent is just summons a monster, you just want to make sure they have something on board to avoid cards like infinite and permanence and good stuff like that. So yeah, we say as if your opponent activates a branded fusion, you're going to chain Chimera Fusion to fuse both your um big wing burferment because this card is a fiend that's needed for the um chimera fusion and is a dark monster as well a dark monster and a shadow monster gets you your copy of el shadow window so now whatever your opponent was trying to do before they just can't um like go throughout their entire turn with just the window as well so honestly they have the window to worry about they already rip we already ripped the card from their hand and we have two negates in the graveyard as well a targeting um negate and uh um a monster that activates on the field so honestly you're in tip top shape over here if your opponent doesn't have anything else so um this was your combo one over here so without further ado let's just get into combo two um i was now nah, i was gonna show you guys the brand fusion and uh, should all monster in hand, but honestly, if you guys know the one card, um, one card branded fusion route, then it's basically the same thing, just um, catching your opponent off guard with the should all monster already in hand. So, 
I'm not gonna really um just go through that. So we're just gonna go through Mirror Swords Knight and Brandon Fusion because you are gonna be guaranteeing yourself that you're gonna see a, a Shadow Monster in your hand to use for Fusion Material for your window. So same thing again, summon, summon, get both your pieces, activate this, fuse both your Big Wing Birthmet and your Gazelle to go for this. Chain one, two, and three. So chain one was all backwards. I'm gonna go for summon the mirror swords knife. I'm gonna summon over here. Um, get your pieces. Activate. So let's say yeah, we just say you can add one of these two, right? So we're just gonna use one for. We're gonna add this, and then this is just gonna be discard fodder for you already know what. And then activate Chimera Fusion. Get this card back to hand. So now you will go into your copy of brand infusion so brand infusion will send both fallen albaz and your shadow hedgehog uh fallen albaz and a dark monster will go for your lubellion now you're gonna do um chain link one your um shadow hedgehog and then chain link to your um lubellion to discard a card from your hand so you're gonna be fusing back obviously the lubellion and your copy of Albaz to go for your Mirror Jade. Now you are gonna um, get your copy of Shadow Beast into hand. And this is gonna be the second way how you get your copy of Wind on board. So once again, activate your copy of Mirror Source Knight during your opponent's draw or standby phase. Get the Big Wing Burfament. Big Wing Burfament gets these two cards. And once again, you wait until um, the right time to activate this. And whenever that right time is, you flip this over, fuse your big wing Burfament and your Shadow Beast to go for your copy of Wind Up. But now, you, besides from the two negates, you have a, um, a Mirror Jade to help you out over here to just get rid of an extra body that would just be a um, problem for Wind Up. So yeah this is actually really good over here so um you i don't know how if this is possible but if you are able to get a dragoon out instead of the mirror jade this would be in like way way better but like the more guaranteed way is just so you can have your copy um sending the um the hedgehog for the um, fusion materials because yeah, it's just, it's just easier. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for the second combo over here. And that's honestly going to be it for the video as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this nice and simple video over here. Um, just quick combos over here. Just try to help you get your window on on board. And this deck window is actually really, really easy to go into because you really just need the bare minimum of some space in your in your main deck just two slots and then you only use, need the one slot in your extra deck to go for um the window so in my variant in my variant of the deck i play dragoon and i play versago the destroyer you can make this into a 42 card deck because um my variant right now is 41 you can go for that or you can literally just find a card um to try to cut in here to make it 40 to 41 obviously cut the dragoon because i don't think there is a there is like the most linear way to go for both dragoon and winda in the same deck but honestly i'm just going to be looking that up and i'm going to be figuring out which one which way is going to be the better way for um this deck to either go for the winda or dragoon by um regional hartford because honestly this might be the deck that i'm going to be taking at the end of the day so without further ado guys, let me not keep you here any longer and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.